Hey you guys, it's James over here with Hamilton Bait and Tackle and today's Tech Tip Tuesday we are talking about something that may look kind of crazy. Uh, you've probably seen it lately on the elites up here on the St. Lawrence River um, or any of the Champlain tournaments or anything, but these guys right here in the live well. No, we're not putting them in here for a fish pool party. Uh, what you do is you go to the Dollar General, you grab a couple pool noodles for a dollar, um, you cut them up and the idea is that you're taking your live well, filling the bottom of the live well with them and when you add your water for the small mouth up here, you uh, actually add a cushion for the top of your live well. So what happens is these fish biologically require 20% more oxygen than a large mouth. It's already been scientifically proven. They're a little bit more fickle when it comes to fish care. So between fizzing and everything we do, um, one of the things we do up here in the north is we put pool noodles in our live wells. Like I said, stops them from hitting your latches, um, hitting your uh, culling clip holders, any of the things that could be here in your lid because you want to plug your live well overflow and you're going to want to keep your live well as full as possible. Um, you're going to want to keep that water in there, which means every now and then you pump a little out and a little back in, but for the most part you're keeping a bulk of your water that's cold, it's got your G-juice in it, it's got all your products in it, whatever you used for your fish care, but at the end of the day you work really hard to keep your water clean and cold you should also work really hard to keep these fish safe in your live well when you're running back to weigh in. This is how we make our money. This is how we do our stuff. Uh, and at the end of the day, fish care is our responsibility. That's your Tech Tip Tuesday.